people, 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 people. Keep pasa, suck pasa, what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. Now, people, we know that extortion is a big thing in a Jamaica. Extortion at the bus parks. Wherever any sorts of taxi van, minibus, any sorts of transportation exists, there is always people extorting them. Usually, you know, say, at the clansman, the one other, termite, tesha, and people like those. However, persons who are the beneficiaries are, are also extortionists, is the popo. Popo in a Spanish town, popo in a Kingston, and in this case, I am speaking about St. James Montego Bay. I am going to speak about that. I am going to speak about the double standard that exists in Jamaica as it pertains to the poor poor wanting to search person's phone. So there is an infamous video that is making its round on social media because of the content. I will not show it. However, I will explain everything in intricate details. So it is one of these Jota bus, the average looking one look like about 12 or 17 seater. Me no know, me no count the people I'm in there. Apparently, this Jota driver who is also him raised chicken or fowl or duck or whatever, bird farmer them call him. Jota man slash bird farmer. He pick up some people from or going to, to the airports. He was pulled over by the popo. Apparently, he has his bag in which he has been hustling. So, therefore, him have money in the bag. The poor poor wanted to search it. He declined. Him said, yo, don't search my bag. If you pull me over for some sort of ticket infraction, here's my paperwork, here's my driver's license, here's my insurance. Of course, you know that whenever you have a couple of poor poor click up, especially those of the rogue type, them no one, nobody tell them nothing. Them no care about your rights. They are going to do exactly what they want to do. And nobody can stop them because they are the law. Them have the badge. And most importantly, them have the tall gun or the government shoes for gear to in your ribs. So then pull over this man. And this is based on the video that I have. Remember, I am going just by the video. So therefore, if something happened before or after the video, me can't talk about it and my type of thing that. So anyways, apparently him decides, alright, this look like it a go, go way, way left. So he started to videotape them. So on top of the fact that them want to search him bag for no reason. And then them want to do him all sorts of thing. He decides, alright, me go videotape the whole episode just in case me have some sorts of insurance policy. Just in case them say them find this XYZ all sorts of contraband. So therefore him start videotape it. When him start videotape it, apparently the fact that he denied them access to searching bag and then them are videotape him pretty much violating his rights. They took big offense to it. Now people, just to put things in perspective, remember the circumstances in which they pulled over this man. They saw him with a bus, a Juta bus, filled with tourists going to or from the airport. They stopped him in a Narwood. Not on the main road in a Boga, one of them pretty places that look tourist-ish. Them stop him in a the garrison. Now you could hear the people on the side raising their voices because what they saw was a clear violation of this man's rights as a Jota driver. So the people them a flare up, the poor poor a flare up, and the man a defending rights, he was standing his ground. So just imagine you. As a double HITE tourist in a van in a some sorts of weird looking neighborhood that you're not used to. Some sorts of garrison, some sorts of project we can call it. And then you hear all sorts of commotion. You see all sorts of poor poor a drip up man and I push them in a wall. I push them head in the wall. Are you going to feel safe? 
Do you think that this is an appropriate action by the poor poor? To be harassing because people, this is exactly what it is. And like me say, I cannot put things into full context because I don't know what initiated it or how it ended. I am going by this video and I am going by the reputation of those persons that work in a tourist era, especially airport police. And I am going to give you a couple of references. Now I understand that these taxi man, these minibus drivers, they are some rogue themselves just like the poor poor. So therefore two peas in a pod, no sort of respect for anything, the law or the road traffic enforcement, them no respect anything. However, based on information that I am getting, this man is a hard working man. This man raised bird. This man also do him juta thing. This man is not a chopper. This man don't have any sorts of criminal history. This man had a license, Jota van. Insurance is license was up to par. Well, I am not going to swear about that because we know that people have tens and hundreds and thousands of tickets. However, what I am saying is that there was no sorts of reasonable suspicion for you to want to search this man's bag in which he have him money maybe he don't trust you because of your reputation of being criminals of being rogue and you might slip a couple of the man money in a your own pocket and then probably try to frame the man like a lot of you have and people i have the cases i just have not gotten to it here's the most important thing or one of the most important things it seems as if these poor poor don't realize that you as a civilian, once you are a member of the state, meaning a poor poor or whoever, civilian can actually videotape in you. It is in their right, it is in the law. Especially if they don't feel safe around you and they just want some sort of insurance policy. To make sure, should in case something goes wrong or should in case you find this or find that, it is not going to be displayed in that video. And obviously, if you are nervous, that is what you are going to do. The videotape cannot lie unless it is edited. So therefore, why would you have a problem unless of course you know that you are violating this man's right? Unless of course you know say, you intend to do something that is not lawful. So that is the only reason why. And why I said there is a double standard. So people, may I go show you now. And people are going to say, well, I two different things. As it pertains to Leon Amoy Issa, that same dirty lady who is the mother of Gabriel King, that has refused the court orders, meaning from the state court, the civil court, whatever it is, to produce the pin number so that the poor poor can go in her phone and take or extract whatever data is relevant to that case. That lady has declined, denied the poor poor access four times even after court order official. So therefore she is perverting, corrupting the course of justice. She probably, she's, she's, she's hindering the process of justice. However, the court and the big judge them, constitutional judge and all of them have to assemble three or four different time and give her extension three or four different time. Well, the fact that she's from uptown and the fact that she has that face card and the fact that she has money and the fact that she has a big time lawyer might change the complexion of why or what is the difference when somebody videotape you or you want to search somebody phone in her case based on what her lawyer is saying a phone is the most private thing that a person have so therefore them probably have all sorts of dung in a throat all sorts of back it up jack it up all sorts of naming incidents in which they don't want to reveal so therefore what about this juta man's privacy his privacy is not important. It is a different level. It is a different thing from Amoy Leon Issa. And the fact that she is probably the only suspect, the person in which fingers are pointing to say that she is at least a part of some sort of conspiracy to get rid of her own picnic. However, you as the popo can hold this man, harass him, 
drape him up, treat him like a little boy, talk to him any sort of way in the company or in the presence of his customers or his clients. And you don't find anything wrong with this. Disclaimer before I proceed once again. I understand that some of these Jota men, some of these taxi men, they are the worst human being that you can find on any part of God's planet. However, in the circumstances and what you should do as a professional is that you treat each case as an individual or at an individual basis. So therefore, you cannot take one broad brush and just brush or paint over everybody and say, I saw them stay. That is not how the law works, no time. However, they find it appropriate and people, this is something that has been happening over and over again. This is not an isolated incident and I will explain why this happens and how extortion comes into play. So people, you might have heard about the big gang case that is going on in a Jamaica with Klansman, one other, one done, whatever. One of the main ways in which they make money is extortion. Extorting the business people. Extorting the bus places, terminals, wherever. That is what they do. However, these people are criminals, so therefore, that is a criminal act. Criminals do criminal acts. However, the main people that are benefiting, or one of the main people that are benefiting from this extortion, is especially at the bus park is the popo i am not speaking about no ordinary blue seam even though that don't exist or one liquor stripe popo i am speaking about the inspector i am speaking about the top popo in the forces spanish town montego bay wherever in this case me i talk about saint james Montego Bay, the airport, Popo, to be specific. There is one individual I heard that he recently resigned. One little short man. His name is Mr. O'Connor. Mr. O'Connor is one of those persons that extorts taxi man, minibus man, jota man, everybody of a peer thing, especially. If the paperwork is not so carpacetic. If you're on his side and you give him a little thing every now and then, you can do business as usual. However, if you do not want to pay, you cannot play in a the Jota business, especially as any sorts of white plate person. As a matter of fact, even the people with red plate gets a rust. Not for their registration, not for their insurance, not for having proper documentation. Him just want a thing. Him feel as if him a one other, him a clansman. He is everything as it pertains to that. So bad enough, he wants the people them for pay. He also has his own jota, him own bus, him own taxi, him have all of that and he is known to be at a place that is called Sea Gardens. That is where he hangs out. This man, while like a shard police boy, and I call him police boy because I have zero respect for him. Based on all the complaints that I have been getting, based on all the reports that was filed against him with Indicom or at Indicom, because of him harassing people on a regular basis. He eventually decided that he would resign. That is what I heard, cannot verify or validate it. And people, this is not me carrying any sorts of feelings. I've had an experience with this man before. And may I say to myself, may I watch him now. I may I record everything from my car. I no know so my car rig up with all sorts of things. And me there at the airport drop off somebody. And when me drop off, when me I drop off the people because the airport pack up. Me stop on the cross line and there was vehicle in front of me, vehicle behind me. So me I tell the people, alright, hurry up and go out. 
and take out your luggage so I can just cut one time. The man go see me on the cross line and come and I lick for my car and want to give me a ticket. I say me stop and park. I say, bro, you don't see, say, how the car them jam up. You know what I mean? So therefore, that's why I tell the people, if you come out, the man have an attitude who and bad me up. A good thing, say, somebody say we are going. And I say, no, man, a good people and, and, and it kind of quits. People, this youth have zero respect. But apart from that, he is known for harassing people. He is known for what we call a conflict of interest. So therefore, he is harassing other taxi man, other minibus man, other jota man, because him want fame thing go through. Him want extortion money. So therefore, not only is he supposed to be doing his job as a legal law abiding officer and people, this is not an isolated incident. A lot of these poor po at the airport, that is what they are doing. A lot of times, them clamp the people, them vehicle, and then they are working with the clamper man as a matter of fact. Them recommend say the clamper man clamp the vehicle and whenever the money is gotten from the people, then them shared. It is not going to the tax office to help out Jamaica, none at all. It is for their own self-interest. So the moral of the story is this. When we wonder why Jamaica cannot be better, we see that there are gangs like one other that are extorting people in a Jamaica. Them they on trial. Them get convicted for being gangsters. However, the poor poor is also beneficiaries of the proceeds of crime. The poor poor, they themselves are harassing persons because of their own greed and self-interest. So therefore you harass persons not because of their paperwork or documentation is right or wrong. It is because these people refuse to pay you. It is because these people refuse to let you violate their rights and want to search them without any sort of reasonable suspicion. So therefore you want BEAT up this man in front of his client, in front of tourists that more than likely would have been scared in that era called now. You never see anything wrong with it. So therefore, not only are you supposed to be enforcing the law, you are enforcers in a some sorts of gang called the JCF that decide that you want to just stop people, B-E-A-T them up, violate them at will. And if them videotape you, you are going to ring off them and bend it up, beat them up, do them all manner of evil, all because you are not getting your own way. People, there is something definitely wrong in this place called Jamaica. And if it does not come to some sort of stop, people are actually going to lose their life. People are actually going to get locked up for it. Because these poor poor are nothing less than rogue. They are criminals. They are as bad as it gets. Just like the criminal, so the poor poor. Two peas in a pod and people, this is it. A next perfect example. Point blank and Period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.